Hey guys, it's Holly. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Holly, obviously. Um, I usually post vlogs and lifestyle type things, but I got a lot of requests on my Instagram to film this video I'm about to film because I'm really into like fitness and wellness, whatever, and every single morning on my Instagram I'm always posting about how I'm going for a run, how I'm like tracking my run, whatever. And so I had a lot of people request that I make a video like all about how I got into running and answer some questions. So I put like a little ask box up on my story and had you guys leave me your questions that you wanted to know about my little running journey. So that's what we're doing today. So I guess we will get right into it. I got like a lot of questions and I tried to group them into categories and combine questions. So I hope I can answer everyone's questions that they wanted to know and if i didn't just literally dm me or leave it a comment below and i'll get back to you did you do cross country or run before and how did you start i've never okay actually in middle school i ran cross country but i was literally like so chubby and unathletic that i always came in like last place and i don't even count it i think i just wanted to go on the trips after school and be on bus with friends so I did technically do cross country in middle school, but not seriously at all. It was more of a social event for me. I've never run as an athletic hobby. I started because quarantine, I was doing a lot of yoga and um, what's it called, Pilates. And it wasn't doing it for me because I was so used to going to the gym and like really sweating it out. So I started running because I figured that would be a good workout to actually feel something. And I did just that. I started on the treadmill. It was cold out, so like, no, I'm not going outside. And I started in April. I think April's like the first time I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be a runner now. And I actually remember getting off the treadmill one time and I only ran like a mile. And I just like laid on the floor dead. And I was like, oh my God, how do people do this? I am exhausted, I am dead, so there's hope for you if you are like in that position right now. How did you start slash how did you build distance? So like I said, I started on the treadmill and I was doing like one mile without stopping, which was huge for me because I just like did it. I forced myself to do it. And then I worked up to two miles. And in May, I challenged myself to do two miles every single day in the month. So I did it all on the treadmill. And I every day as you do it, it got better and better like you know how long it's gonna take your pace increases a little bit so every single day in May I challenged myself two miles a day on the treadmill um, then at the end of May I decided to take it outside because it was warming up and I was so freaking bored of the treadmill so I went outside around my neighborhood and the way that my neighborhood is if I do like two laps around it it's a mile so I started doing four laps and four laps and four laps and two miles every day, two miles every day. And then one day I just woke up and went to do my two miles and I was done with my two miles. And I, I don't know if there was like a song on or something in me was like, damn, like you have to keep going. I think it's like the runner's high. The runner's high is so real. So I kept going and I did three and a half miles. And then the next day I was like, well, I know I can do three and a half miles now. So let me try to do at least three. And I did three. And then like the same thing happened. I'm like, I can keep going. And eventually I did four and I did four miles for a while and a while and a while. Then I worked up to five miles and now I'm consistently running six to seven miles four times a week. And it feels absolutely great. It's just a matter of practice, 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 repeat, repeat, repeat. And eventually you're like, I can keep going like I need to keep going because it feels so good after that like first initial month of doing two miles over and over I think every two weeks I was like consistently going up and pushing myself just like a half mile further or um, a little bit longer up oh, tips to keep going okay these are the most important things of this video like if you're gonna watch anything in this video listen to these tips so once you've like built up your endurance and you can go like a few miles in order to keep going, this is what has really helped me. It's all mental. Literally focus on anything but running. If you're sitting there running and you're like, oh my God, that like hurts, I'm running, I have to make it to that pole and then I have to make it to that mailbox and I have to make it to that driveway. Like don't 
think like that when you're running or you're gonna have a miserable time and your journey of running is gonna end so quick. You have to think about anything. Like, I think about breakfast. Like, what am I gonna eat after this? I think about what I'm gonna do later on in the day. I think about things that happened this week. I think about things in my past. I think about life. Literally anything but running. I don't care if you're thinking about like a banana. Think about anything but running, okay? Literally, you just have to get past that mental aspect that you're running and you can run for hours. Slow and steady, do not start fast. So I personally don't run for pace. I just run because it's relaxing, it's stress relieving, it's an exercise for me and I love to just like sweat it out. I do not run for pace ever. I'm not like, oh my God, I gotta start fast. I'm running faster today, I'm running slower today. I gotta run faster today. I don't think like that. I start slow. I stay with that pace the whole run. I think I run like nine minute miles and that's totally fine. I know that's like frowned upon in the racing world, but I run like nine minute miles. Sometimes I look at my run when I'm done and I ran an eight minute mile just cause I was going downhill or I was like really into a groove. So don't focus on your pace at all. You need a fire playlist. I cannot tell you how important it is that you need music to run. like. Some people can run with a podcast or nothing. I don't, I, okay, N not me, I can't do that. Can't even freaking listen to a podcast doing anything. So don't know how people do that when they're running. You need a fire playlist and thankfully for you, I have the most perfect running playlist that I have executed to like have the tempo of how you should be running. It's got bomb songs on there. I sing them while I run. Don't even care what people think of you when you run. Like I'm out there and I'm singing, I'm dancing. I, I kind of look at running like I'm dancing to the song cause your body's moving and you're kind of like, sometimes I like go like this when I'm running. I look crazy, but I literally don't care cause I'm having such a good time. I will link my um, playlist below. It's on Apple music, but I'll link it in the description. <sighs> Breathing is huge aspect. Like if you're out there running and you're like, <sighs> Like, you're gonna hyperventilate, you're gonna slow yourself down, you're gonna exhaust your energy. I start with my nose, I breathe in through my nose calmly and out through my nose calmly until I can't do that anymore. Then I switch to in my nose, out my mouth, and I keep that steady my whole entire run. I mean, sometimes I catch myself and I'm breathing in through my mouth, but that gives me cramps. And like, you're not, I don't think you're supposed to breathe in your mouth and out your mouth. It's supposed to be like steady in your nose out your mouth and just if you start to cramp up you need to slow it down and just check your breathing if you feel like you're exhausted and you can't go any further but you like want to go further and you have to make it home or whatever literally check your breathing just in the nose out the mouth that's so key to realign yourself with your breath and just slow your heart down another key tip is that for a while when i was running outside at first i was holding my phone in my hand and running and this like it gets covered in sweat it's like slipping out your hand and i'd be like tossing it back and forth every two minutes to give my hand a break then i went to target and picked up this beautiful little invention i know like a lot of brands make these arm straps for like 50 bucks i literally went to target it was five bucks in the little dollar section they have i always get asked about this and i don't have a link to it i'm so sorry they don't have it on their website but if you go to the store um check in the dollar section it's so comfy i mean like it does absorb sweat so you got to wash it every once in a while or it's going to smell bad but just like pop your phone in there put your music on and then don't look at your phone the rest of the time while you're running like the amount of energy you get put back into your run without holding your phone in your hand is actually insane i noticed a huge improvement once i started using the arm strap what app do you use to track your run so this is also kind of another tip i use the nike run club app and i track it on my phone i do i mean my watch i do bring my phone with me when i run because i need the music to connect to my headphones but download the nike run club app and track it from your watch or your phone I prefer my watch because it's more accurate with the heart rate um, and turn off the notifications. So if you don't turn them off every mile, you get someone in your ear like one mile distance um, pace, nine minute, 40 second. And that's so discouraging because when I first had that on, I'd run what felt like 
five miles and it would be like distance three miles and I'm like just it was really discouraging so turn it off or you'll get caught up in your pace and your mileage and it will discourage you and make you slow down and want to quit early do you ever stop while you're running not really I try to push through my runs if I get tired like I said I really try to focus on my breath but sometimes I have a day where I plan a route and I've never done the route before so I'm unaware of like I know the mileage is going to be but I don't know the like terrain so I could plan a route and there's a huge hill hill after hill after hill and I'm just like at the point where I am if I don't stop and take just like 30 seconds to walk it out and finish that hill I'm going to pass out right here on this road and someone is going to run me over so every once in a while I will just take like 30 seconds to get through the terrain that I didn't expect and catch my breath. What do you eat before? I do not eat before I run. I, I've just never worked out with food in me. I'm always a morning riser and an early riser and I always get my workout done early so I don't, I'm not hungry in the morning. I'm not hungry till like 10 a.m. and the thought of food makes me nauseous so the thought of even having food in my stomach while I'm running and like bouncing, uh-uh, I can't do it. But when I get home, I always have like hydrated electrolytes waiting for me, ice cold water, and I make breakfast shortly after that. Have you ever gotten discouraged not going faster or longer? Um, yeah, I mean, not really. Like I said, I turn off notifications, so I don't get super discouraged. And I've had enough routes planned where if I go out and I'm like, I'm doing this route this way today, I know it's going to be five miles. Or if I'm like, I'm in the mood for a six mile run. I'll do my six mile route that I know but um, sometimes I do just like look at the map and I plan a route like a loop and I'm like oh that's got to be at least six miles and I get home and it's only four and a half and like oh that, that sucks because I feel like I ran a lot more so yeah sometimes I get discouraged but I never get discouraged over my pace because like I said I'm not in it for speed I'm in it for movement how do you motivate yourself so it was really hard at first, but guys, the runner's high is so real. After I'm like a mile or two in, I'm like, I love my life. I have no stress. I am carefree. Nothing can bring me down. I like have freaking Kanye West in my ear. I don't know, someone's singing to me and I'm singing with them. I'm having a good time. I'm like, I'm just nothing can bring my high down and the high lasts like, an hour or two after you run. It's such a good feeling that at nighttime I'm in bed and like I freaking cannot wait to get up and run tomorrow. So after you like took all the tips I gave you and start running, it's really easy to want to continue doing it. Also I've just um love getting fresh air in the morning and listening to my music. It's just a really good meditative way for me to start my day. Do your calves or legs ever hurt while you're running? So actually, no, this is something that like you think would happen. Like you think when running, your legs would be like throbbing, but I don't know if it's because I have just always worked out. Like I've been weight training now for five years and I have so much muscle in my leg that I never knock on wood. Like while I'm running, I don't even notice my legs. Like I don't feel pain in them while I'm running or they don't feel sore so I don't know I think if you want to obviously running will build your muscle and your legs but if you want that extra whatever it's called that extra reliability go to the gym and also train your legs how long did it take you to run a 5k like I said I did two miles for a whole month um it probably took like two-ish miles two-ish miles two-ish months to get to a 5k and now like today days where I'm just not feeling like long distance I do 5ks as like my recovery days so there's hope people like if I ever talked to myself a year ago and it was like yeah your your recovery days are gonna be 5ks I'd laugh in your face how do you build endurance hill runs my people hill runs oh my god even like the smallest hills are so tough it really teaches you to push through, slow your pace and your breathing and builds up that endurance that you need to like run long distance. Just like don't plan a run that's like hill, hill, hill. Start with a run where like slight hill and then downhill break after. If you can plan a route like that, that's ideal. 
but definitely try some hill runs to start. Best running shoes and worst. So I ran in the shittiest Adidas for the first like month and I could, I was getting blisters, black toenails, I tried Nikes, same thing. Um, yeah, I don't like those. And then I finally like consulted some actual runners and they recommended that I get these, I'm like trying to hold them away, they're dirty. These are my new babies. I got them two weeks ago. They're the Brooks Ghost 12s. Guys, I've never put a comfier shoe on in my life. Like not just running shoes, but these are the comfiest shoes I've ever worn. This is like all foam. Um, it absorbs road shock so well. This is so cushioned in here and they just like slide on like they're beautiful. I, I've been wearing them now consistently for two weeks and I haven't got a single, knock on wood, blister, black toenail, foot pains, whereas my other sneakers, oh my gosh, I was popping blisters like every single night. The nail lady laughed at my toes and told me I'm going to lose my toenails, but these have been a gem to run in. Being comfortable to run in a sports bra around your town, how do you do it? So being confident is something that I can't teach you. I'm, I'm a confident person because I've I just have learned to love my body and who I am. So that's a problem all on its own that you have to like be okay with. But oh my god, I don't know how people don't run in sports bras. It's the sweatiest. I've done every exercise there is. Weight training, spin class, body combat, everything, every single possible workout hit. Running is the sweatiest I have ever been. I don't know how people even wear a shirt when they run. I see guys running with like basketball shorts and short sleeves. I'm like, oh my god, how do you do that? I need like the least amount of clothes as possible. I can't even imagine running in just like even a tank top. Also, don't like worry about people looking at you because yeah, a lot of cars drive by, um, but they literally buzz right by. They see you for maybe two seconds if they even can see you. So don't worry about it, just do it. You're gonna sweat so much. It's just running in the heat, how do you do it? It's tough, it's real tough, but I wake up early, I beat the heat, or try to at least. Some days it's just like running through mud. It's so humid and hot and I just tough through it, but I try to wake up early. One time I actually tried to run in the afternoon and I could only do like a mile and a half and I'm like, I need to get home as soon as I can. Also having a pool to jump in after you run is very helpful. And finally, just a personal question, what are your long-term running goals? I don't have any like goals like that I'm running to meet. I'd like to eventually do a half marathon and increase my mileage. Right now I'm around seven miles. Um, I'd like to find new routes and get to a point where I can run a half marathon. I don't think I ever wanna run a marathon because I've seen what people's feet look like after that and it's not pretty. But I think a half marathon could be fun. I also want to run in a 5K. I could do that now, like bring one on, but like there's no 5Ks going on right now because of the Coronas and yeah, but I'd like to actually qualify and participate in one. I think that would be fun. I hope this helps you guys or anyone trying to get into running. And if you have more questions that I didn't answer, hit me up, I'll help you. I'm not a running guru, but for someone that has never run in their life, to just start in April and now I run consistently like almost every day. There's like hope and you can do it. Thank you so much for watching and hit me up. Hit me up with those running questions. Oh God, this, I put tanner on my face. I'm so sorry I had to wash this people. All right, bye.